So we are going to be drawing realistic chameleons. So realistic means they need to look as real as we possibly can. We want our craftsmanship to be absolutely the best possible. And you can see several of the chameleons here. We don't want Pascal from Tangle. We want a realistic looking chameleon. All right, so chameleons, that's what we're gonna be working on. Chameleons, remember, can be all those colors. We are really thinking about the element of art color when we're doing this project. So we have made color wheels in the past. That's why we're not making a color wheel. We're just using that knowledge to work on our chameleons. But that comes after we actually draw it. So this is my finished product. How you're going to get started is you're going to get a very large piece of paper. It doesn't matter if it's turned this way or tall like a tree vertical. Either way is fine. Always your name and class code go on the back. Then you flip it over. I have created some handouts for you to help you out. So we've got a picture of an actual chameleon walking. We have how to draw chameleons, all different kinds of chameleons, because of course there's not just one kind. So there's all different ways to do this. You can use the how to draw um, papers to help you. It is not something that you're trying to make an exact copy of. So it's a guide, a guide, not to make an actual copy. So I'm going to use this picture here, and again, I'm going to break it down into simple shapes. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to do the body first. So I'm going to do a nice big, because we want our chameleon to be the largest thing on the paper, a nice big oval. So I start off with oval. It's very, very light, because I'm going to have to do erasing. Now I'm going to start with that kind of triangular head and I'm going to make a curve to it. So I've got the triangle part and now I'm going to work on the tail. So the tail is going to start way back here and it's going to curve in. Then I'm going to either start, I'm going to start from here and work my way back because that's a little easier for me. And I'm going to start working on adjusting things. So I erase the parts that need to be erased. Okay, I know I'll go back and adjust more. So I'm going to keep working on all of this. So now that I've gotten all of that done, I'm going to start working on the background. So I want my chameleon to be on a branch. So I'm going to have it look like the branch. <music> So now that this is done, I'm going to outline using a Sharpie. So I'm going to outline all my detail using a Sharpie after that. Notice I didn't put anything in the background. That is perfectly fine. We don't want a lot of stuff in the background. I'm going to make sure that I adjust the things that need to be adjusted. Okay. And again, I didn't erase the whole thing. I drew lightly. 
All right, I only erase what needs to be erased. I take my time. I think it through. I use my guide. All right, sketch on a piece of sketch paper first. I've drawn a bunch of these, so I'm good at it. You are going to need to practice, and that is okay. So let's start working on our chameleons. When you're totally draw done drawing your home, you're going to get a Sharpie and you're going to start to outline. You need to take your time when you're outlining. Do the best you can to stay on the actual pencil line. outlining I need to put this back where I got it from and then I've got an eraser and I'm gonna race over all of my chameleon at this chameleon you can see the designs on its body so we want to make sure that we have some of those on our chameleon so it looks very realistic so we saw that chameleon and we want to think of the designs that need to be for it you can see on mine I've got the designs that come across the body they don't look completely realistic but it still gives that appearance of a chameleon so that's what we're trying to do is make it look more chameleon like so I'm gonna kind of follow the curves here you can do your patterns and designs any way that you want I like triangles so most of my stuff normally looks like a triangle we don't want words we do not want anything like smiley faces things like that we want our lines to be nice and thick if there are lines and we want the shapes to be nice and thick as well <music> done and I've got it covering most of the chameleon I made sure these designs again are nice and thick because we're gonna have to color them in later so we don't want them really really skinny I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm going to repeat the process of outlining <music> Now I'm going to get an eraser and I'm going to repeat that step, I'm erasing over all of my chameleon. 